Hello Taurus and welcome to your reading. Much love and light. Um, we are going to get started with your June reading, but before I get started, I want to mention that we have made these wooden wick candles. And they can be found at www.aubreysenchantedcandles.com We have all different types of swords. They're not on the website yet, but they will be. This is the coffee kind, and the other one that you saw is Day at the Spa. So, let's get started. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. We're going to break it down with some oracle first. Alright, so this is for Taurus. In the month of June 2021, we have first week of June, igniting your passions. So, what is bringing forth your fire? in you what is bringing you balance okay what are your deepest passions and desires you could even be um very passionate with um your significant other as well we have being brave and honest with the battle scores that uh, you have You have come to known, but yet you are blooming into a, a beautiful rose. Even though you have thorns around you that are, you know, that kind of prick other people, you still have the passion within you. And you're being brave and open and honest about those passions and being uh, your true self. Um, as far as like any battle scars that you have uh, come upon in the past. You're making plans and focusing on them. So you're really determined to get things done in the month of June. Especially in the third week. So I do feel like whatever you are passionate about, you are going to start making those plans. And you will definitely be shutting off this old skin so that you can transform into the new, okay? And bringing balance into this situation. And then we have at the bottom of the deck, Lady. So whether you are a man or a woman, you will definitely be enjoying your growth and reaping the rewards that are owed to you. Um, all of this hard work that you have been putting the time and the de dedication to heal these wounds, um, you will be receiving, you know, passion on the other end of that. And um, this could also be between you and a lover. Like I said at the beginning of the reading, there is going to be more passion involved in your relationship, whether it be someone that um, you're seeing or relationships in general. Uh, but you're definitely, you're, um, if in a relationship, you're both making plans for June um, to shed off things that no longer belong in your relationship. And you're igniting that fire within. Okay, so, um, and then for some of you who are not in a relationship, you're just being brave and honest about the things that, that brings you passion in your heart that ignites that fuel within you to move forward and make those plans and start shutting off this old skin so that you can embrace the rewards that are coming into you or in for you first week of june 2021 please all right so we have the nine of swords there could be some mental blockages here in regards to your creative passions. Something that has um, been bringing you some type of anxiety 
okay? But I do feel like you are uh, fully learning from these experiences from the past and any commitment issues that you've had, you know, just feeling overwhelmed by everything, too many options, and it created sadness, okay? Uh, maybe people in your life, different relationships have caused you to have these mental blockages so you won't, weren't really passionate. You didn't really know how to be passionate is what I'm getting um, because all you've dealt with is violence and abuse, especially when it comes to your mental. But I do feel with the King of Swords, this is you being independent and completely transforming um, into the person that you are and once again being brave and honest about that as well, okay? Being brave and honest to be open to your passions so that you can reap the, war the rewards that are owed to you. So second week of June, please. Taurus oh and then we left out three of <laughs> cups yeah lack of support um, so you're definitely releasing that and you're becoming more independent we have the nine of Pentacles uh, people stealing your energy your pride your dignity um, your even your resources okay all of that will be brought back to you by just being you being the humble person that you are Taurus and um, being brave open and honest about who you are as well and what you want to accomplish um, second week of June please for Taurus We have the Eight of Pentacles, definitely repairing the work, repairing the work. Um, Ten of Wands, you will definitely be released from this energy, okay? You are releasing the, the baggage, the battle scars, things that have mentally um, antagonized you or caused restless nights, okay? Maybe even nightmares, yeah. The beginning um, new beginnings okay looking at things from a different perspective seeing things with a brand new eye all right third week of June for Taurus please yeah judgment definitely there is a spiritual awakening taking place here Okay, there is victory in this situation. You will be able to regain your energy. Your prayers will be answered, but um, it does take hard work. Okay, um, it does take time, effort, making plans, staying focused, and determined on that path. Can I get one more card for Taurus? Thank you. Yeah, where. <laughs> You have been fearing some change in regards, like there has been some type of frustration because of any um, illu uh, illusions that have been happening here. Um, and this could be a fear of change, but I do feel like with the judgment card here, there is going to have, um, there's going to be a decision that needs to take place. But I do feel like there is victory over this situation here because the next thing is shutting off that old skin. So I do feel like this... Um, choice is to just continue to shut off things that are no longer meant for you all right um fourth week of june please for taurus yeah shutting off the the stress um maybe lack of income not enough resources shutting off the pain um, any betrayal that has ever happened to you, Taurus. Emotional distress. Okay. That is going, that's what you're going to be shedding. And we can we get one more card here for Taurus. What else? Yeah, there's going to be an unexpected surprise coming in. This could be, um, you know, flowers being sent to you. Or this could also be, um... Something that just really opens up your heart space and could even be bringing back childhood memories um, to help you release this energy of um, 
feeling codependent or stressed out or at rock bottom, okay? Um, so, yeah, Knight of Pentacles. To clarify, you will be moving forward from this. You will be free and liberated. Just continue to stay uh, reliable with the resources that you already have. Um, take it slow and steady. And you will definitely reap the rewards that are owed to you, okay? Taurus, for positive affirmations, please. Okay. Uh, dream it, believe it, and receive it. Or achieve it and receive it. Don't quit before the miracle happens. This too shall pass. So I do feel like your battle, that's in regards to your battle scars, what you have faced. Know that you're not alone here in this situation. Don't be a tourist, be a traveler. You will be able to travel, see new things, but you have to believe it uh, within yourself, okay? So those are your messages, Taurus. Much love and light headed your way. Take care.